Moi Swami and hello Sara Alto and congratulations on the release of Monsters, your first track for Uden Music and Kilpalu 2018. Look, this is only the first song and the hype is already real. If this is the best song, you're gonna slay at Eurovision. If this is the worst song, you're still gonna slay at Eurovision because it would be a matter of good, better, best. This is so good, and we need to talk about it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Yes, TGIF, thank goodness it's Friday, and thank goodness it is Finland. Monsters is amazing. The title is dark, but this song is full of light. It is happy. It smacks of perseverance pushing through, staring those haters and those hang-ups straight in the face and saying bye, Felicia, bye, Felicia even. It's just heartwarming. It's an earworm. It's current. That tropical breeze is blowing and yet it lends itself so well for staging. Just look at the music video, okay? She's got these crazy monsters in this house. She's this fierce diva, this woman. She's showing off that decolletage. She's got this kind of white necklace that snakes down her back because she's developing a spine. It's all about standing up tall. All these messages are coming through loud and clear. Finland can breathe a sigh of relief because you know what, if they choose this, they're, oh, born to be, hello, do you like monsters? This is Barnaby. He wanted to join in on the conversation as well. Hello. It's just so good, so now, so current. But I'm not the only one who loves it. I wanted to gauge the opinion of all of our global bloggers. So we did a little call for um, reviews and they've come in. Oh, putting it down. And we're going to watch them right now. Roll the tape. Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Sydney. I'm stuck in bed with a bit of a cold. I'm losing my voice. But I've just heard the track and I can tell you there ain't no monsters under this bed, but there's a bang of a track going on. I'm excited for Sarah because she's dealing with topics like overcoming adversity and empowerment. And you know what? I hope she can bring it on stage, high impact for three minutes. I know Sarah can do this. I know Finland can do this. I believe in them. Let's see how it goes. I'm going back to bed after listening to this song, maybe another time or ten. Hello, this is Steinen from Iceland, uh, Sara Altos Monsters. It's a really good pop song. You can hear and see that her stay at X Factor UK has done her some good. She uh, uh, looks confident, even though it's, I know it's a video, but she looks confident. And the team behind the song sounds like they are experienced songwriters. And regarding the message, um, as a woman during the Me Too revolution, I can relate to some of that man message. You know, get rid of the monsters onto the bed. So all in all, it's a good song. And I can't wait to hear the rest of Sarah's song for UMK. Bye bye. Guys, is it just one of the three songs that are able to represent Finland? Wow. <laughs> what the hell, people? What the hell? Um, this is just an amazing song to me. It sounds like a Bob. Bob! Yes, um, it's like, it's electrifying, it's current, and it has a very good appeal to me, it's just, yes, yes, Sarah, take the crown, win it, win the whole show, whatever, I'm with you, I love this song, I cannot wait uh, to listen to the other two songs, but girl, thank you. I ain't gonna hold on to these monsters anymore. Oh my god, when Sarah Alto was internally picked, we knew it was gonna be big, but we just didn't know how good it was gonna be. This is the first tease. There's like, what, two more to go? I'm loving this. This is absolutely incredible. It's a banging track, and it gives me a moment to kind of take my breath and then re-energize, you go girl. <laughs> Hi, it's Suzanne. So when Wee Wee first asked me to do a quick video on monsters, I thought, oh my gosh, what is this? Some crazy memory from our childhood? What possibly could I have to say about monsters? Um, and now that I've listened to Sarah Alto's Monsters song um, from Finland, 
Well, what a great song. Um, love Sarah. She's got so much fun energy. She's so vibrant. Really an empowered woman. Um, her army looks a lot like my personal army. And I really love the concept of the song. Releasing what no longer serves you, getting rid of your demons, and surrounding yourself by your army, your tribe of people who just really get you. So I'm down with the song, love the tune, love the beat. Um, hope that Sarah and Monsters does well in Finland. Go girl! Hey you guys, it's Sina from Bulgaria. Wow, oh, Sarah, what have you done, honey? Like really, this song is absolute perfection for me and I think that it is a great example what the other Eurovision Song Contest entries have to be like a hit after five seconds you are blown away and just you wanna slay everything like girl you are my queen I wanna be a monster honey keep slaying the pack hey my Kakelemetakulu it's Diana a Russian girl from Finland so what can I say about her first song for competition monsters Actually, I have no words. Just this. Hi, it's Misha in the Czech Republic and I've just heard Monsters. And I have to say that uh, I was captivated from the very begin uh, beginning with the verses. It felt so magical, but then the bridge and the chorus came and it felt so generic and so typical. We've heard that so many times before. And uh, I, I really hope that uh, there will be some song like which will keep up with the verses. <laughs> Hello, this is Barnabas of Hungary and well, Monsters. It's a very catchy and upbeat song. However, this kind of Eurodance or Europop has been heard in the contest countless times. Just remember Euphoria or even Gloria's My Cascara or even from last year and Demi's This Is Love. So. I would like to hear something more unique from Finland. It's Anska from the Netherlands. Monsters has a really nice Lady Gaga part going on, but she needs something more original to stand up from the crowd, I think. And I hope she do, because my boyfriend really wants to go to Helsinki next year. Hi guys, it's Chris. Uh, Sarah Elta's Monsters. I think it's a good start to the selection. I'm not 100% sold on the song quite yet, though. Kind of feels like um, the chorus particularly, because of that choir element, it feels like Sarah isn't the star of the show when she really should be. Um, that being said, I really like the production and I can definitely see live, we know that she can kill it on a stage. So I think she'll definitely lift it live. I just think that right now it's kind of missing one little thing to make it a big hit Eurovision entry. Hello, this is Raphael calling from a snowy Chicago, United States. Now, Monsters is hard hitting, it's aggressive, it's fierce, and it really shows off Sara's powerful vocals amazingly. This is, this is a Finnish team that has not just come to play. My main concern is this, though. The music video is definitely epic, it's empowering, but it's also very sultry, and this vibe works really well in the music video, but I'm a little bit concerned that pulling off the same vibe on the Eurovision stage without becoming too inappropriate and too, or too awkward um, could be a bit of a challenge. Um, but all in all, if the Finnish team decides to go with this song, they have my full support. I have no doubt that they will be able to put together an amazing live show. Bye! Hey, it's Jonathan from the UK. I think it's fair to say that Sara Alto just turns national final season up a gear. Based on what we've seen her perform previously, Monsters just seems to fit her voice and personality perfectly and lends itself well to some really bold staging. Though I am not quite sure how the sort of children chanting in the background, how that's going to come across live. But if this is the quality of the first song, then bring on the next two, because she slays. Hi Wee Wee Blogs, this is Ant with a double A, coming to you from Sydney, Australia with a double A. And as you can see, Sara Alto is taking Sydney by storm. Her song Monsters has Eurovision Top 10 written all over it. This is a song that's perfect follow-up to No Fear lyrically and you could really hear this at Helsinki Pride or London Pride. It's just the perfect song for Sarah. 
is just her first song, two more to come, and she might even be packing something even better. Yeah. As you can see, people are very optimistic. I think that's because a lot of people can relate to this message about finding your army, finding your tribe. In the lyrics, she says, quote, At my worst, I found my army strong. All the demons are gone. You can try and scare me now, but I ain't scared no more. I ain't scared no more. No, she is not. This mirrors her own personal story, her journey from X Factor, where in the first few weeks in X Factor UK, she was, you know, in the bottom two. She had to sing for her life. But then with Fright Night, actually, she kind of pushed through with that crazy Bjork interpretation. She pushed through. She overcame all that negativity and she ended up finishing second. It's just beautiful. In any case, that is what we are thinking. What are you thinking? Are you blue and white with delight for Finland? Do you think that Sarah can top this already very strong entry with her other two UMK songs? What genre do you want her to go to Eurovision in? Do you think she's good in this kind of EDM dance electro vibe beat genre? Or should she do, you know, a classic power ballad? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Be sure to leave your comments, subscribe, like, and we'll see you later. Bye!